and welcome back to my channel. I apologize if you're going to be able to hear some like crackly audio from me in this, but for some reason, yet again, my microphone is terrible. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know why it's not working or how many recording it's, recordings it's going to be like this, but clearly I need to be doing sound checks because it's just, it's ridiculous. I have 12 videos left to edit still, I think, 10, 12, something like that. And I've had audio issues in almost every single one. So anyway, starting this video off, I believe I am headed to the Great Fairy. I had just gotten the Champion Leathers. And off camera, I had harvested um, scales, uh, claw, like talons or whatever, horns and fangs from the Light Dragon which the only reason that I didn't do it on camera, um, cause it is kind of cool, but you literally have to wait 10 like real life minutes in between each thing that you get, like for the dragon to glow again. And that just, it seemed like it'd be just forever editing. So anyway, here I am talking to the great fairy and upgrading my champion leather. <sighs> Sorry, champions at leathers. And there she goes. I don't know why I recorded every step of the upgrade instead of just... I don't know why I thought it was going to be cool. But I did. Doing it again. It goes all the way up to 32. I believe this is the final. Okay. And then I believe at this point, um, I went to go upgrade it again, and I realized that I had miscounted how many Sunday lions I needed. Oh, did I do that twice? Sorry, and, um... Sorry, I'm gonna grab some sunlight real quick. Yeah, I had... I had to go off camera and get more sunlight because I miscounted how many I had, so I, like, paused and went and got them. And then I watched the whole thing for this one because I'd never actually seen, um... I'd never actually seen like the fourth one. So, yep, and then now I'm headed off to. I don't even remember where I'm going. Okay. So one of the villages. Um. So that I can, uh. Oh, sorry. Um. Um, so that I can start the next quest. are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite survey leaders to take a look. I'm impressed, Chief Kaya. Oh no, I'm no chief. I couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to learn. Oh, great deal too. Oh, is that you, Master Link? 
I'm so happy that I got to see you again. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Hmm? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval is an imposter born of the Demon King, and the real Princess Zelda is still missing? Are you serious, Master Link? It's certainly hard to believe, yet I find it impossible that you would make up such a tale. Come to think of it, Princess Zelda who came to Kariko Village? I never know how to say that. She ordered us not to let anyone near the flooding ring ruins, no matter what. She left it as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about the, those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. The room does look like it could crash down any moment. That's what Paya and I suspected, at least. Oh, my apologies, Mr. Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot a common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zanai survey team. I invited him to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. His incredibly deep knowledge of the Zanai civilization. Sorry if you can hear a little bit of my uh, robot voice. He's even familiar with Zanai's script. He's truly an incredibly trained or talented individual. All right, nice to meet you, dude. It's clear that the floating ring ruins that were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen. Okay. Sorry. Most have broken apart in some way, which is fascinating. The stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mentions content, mentions of sages. Oh my gosh. Perhaps the ruins floating and also had a slab that made mention of the sages. Until now, I'd given up on investigating the ruin, believing that Princess Zelda's orders were for the best. But for if the princess, if that princess was an imposter, that changes everything. Princess Zelda and Buster, the Demon King's underling, forbid anyone from investigating the floating ring room. That must mean that doing so would pose a threat to the Demon King. If that's the case, we must survey that floating ruin as soon as possible. Sorry, I'm like trying to read fast. If I were you, Mr. Turo, there is no longer any reason to prohibit your. Or right, you are, Mr. Turo. Oh, let's open up the floating ring room at once. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. Hee hee, your Lurlin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Turo. Must really be, you must really be pleased. I just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. It's clear that the interior of this ring room is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring rooms are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zanai script. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage this precious ruins. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about them. Whatever he said. Secret of the Ring Ruins. Okay, now I just need to... Ooh, sorry. Climb up there and... I fell like three times, that's why there's a cut right there. For some reason, it's like I forgot how to climb a ladder and I just kept falling off the edge every time I'd get up. But eventually I figured it out. Well, huh, sort of. You get stuck underneath something up here in a second, that's really dumb. I'm really annoyed that my audio is so off in so many of these videos because this is like the good important stuff and of course my audio has to be all jacked up. It's actually so frustrating. I knew that I had to like, um, what's the word for it, ascend up into the ruin, but I got like stuck underneath there, and I was so annoyed, I was like, why can't I get out of here, and, like, I was stuck, um, crouching, and I couldn't get back up, and I couldn't, and then finally I figured it out, it's like the camera gets all weird, shh, Ari, Thank you. And there we go. Now we're in.
inside. I kind of ran around for a second just in case there was anything in here. Went, <laughs> climbed it for some reason. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to like read it. <sighs> if that picture was good enough so I think I took another one from slightly further away or did I not did I just leave Uh, Master Link, did I see you go inside the floating ring ruin? I just, no, never mind, it's nothing. My eyes are clearly playing tricks on me. Uh, Mr. Link, did I see you go inside? Okay, yeah, why are you repeating this? Because yes, I did. Huh, I look like you disappeared in the ring, but that can't be right. I forgot I said anything, I must have imagined it. Here you go, here's a picture of what I took inside of it. What's this you've got, huh? Could it, could it really be? Paya, look at this. Oh man. Showing them the picture. Yep, the slab is clearly visible. There appears to be Zanai inscription on this one as well. Let me see what I can decipher. Promise Zelda, solemnly signed Miranu, Sage of. Hide the key, Southeast, and trust future with defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Miranu seems to be someone's name. Hmm, look at the context of Mirano. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. Aha, this inscription is telling us all sorts of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just the part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm, ah, you're right. Paya knows their stuff. This should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Oh, thank goodness, I've proven useful. My continued Zanai language studies have paid off. Oh no. Um, where were we? Something about a dragon land to the southeast? How familiar are you with the southeast Tyrol? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zanai Ruins. A pretty it's the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs throughout the ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. Oh, Caleb, great catch. Is on our ruins in Heron. That's a good chance that's exactly what I'm just pointing at. That's Caleb. That's our Caleb. Fantastic work. I, I, what did you just say? That this inscription pointing us towards Farron's on our ruins? No, not that. The adjective was used. I believe it started with a fan and ended with a castic. What was it again? Ah, fantastic work, you mean? Yes, fantastic work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fantastic work, he said. Fantastic, me. Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we'll get def definite mentions of the Sage Marinu, Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all of them must be waiting at the Zanai Ruins in Southeast Tyrol. We've landed a real catch here. Thank for your help, truly. Now, with no time to dawdle, there's research to be done. Kelp, will you join me? Of course, I would be mm, very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zanai Ruins. First, we head southeast. Establish a base on the Puff of Foothills at the Skyview. Okay. In search of new discoveries. We make for Faron. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize again that my... um. Oh, they left just like that. Okay, anyway, I apologize that my mic is so messed up. 
but I'm going to head off to the ruins next, and hopefully I'll have a decent mic. If not, you'll get another voiceover. So please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.